It has now been five days since Tony Anderson vanished after being stopped by police. Her friends desperate to find any clues launching a search of their own today. And 41 Action News reporter Josh Helmuth joins us live from North Kansas City where that search started. So Josh, what do we know? Yeah, guys, you know, several of Tony Anderson's friends met in the Northland today to search for clues, anything they could find, really, and to pass out a countless number of these right here, these missing persons flyers with Tony's picture. Now, Tony was last seen at this quick trip here off Burlington in North Kansas City early on Sunday. Desperate with few other leads, Tony's friends are really hoping to start a movement today that will lead to some answers. Do not touch it, whether you have gloves or a bag. Today, roughly a dozen people joined in to search for Tony Anderson. Look for clues anywhere and everywhere. Jared Morton drove from Atlanta. I'm just worried and I'm just doing my best to get Tony home. Deidre Thompson, she's a complete stranger pitching in to help. I honestly can't imagine being anywhere else right now. The group's epicenter is this quick trip on Burlington where Anderson was last seen by a North Kansas City police officer Sunday morning shortly before 5 o'clock. Kansas City police are spearheading the investigation and says they've been using countless resources to find any leads on her whereabouts. We've had federal agents helping us out. We've uh, had North Kansas City, River, Riverside searched uh, a lot of areas for us. The case is still a missing persons investigation. KCPD says they would need a tip to change the case to something suspicious or foul play. We haven't had anyone call us and say, hey, we think so-and-so harmed her or uh, has her and is not letting her go. We have not had any information like that at all. It's literally like she disappeared. For now, Anderson's friends are still desperate to do whatever they can to find Tony. It's very, very scary to me because it just makes me fear the worst. But I feel like with us here, we can kind of search a little more in depth. Yeah. Now, KCPD also updated us this morning and said that they flew a drone over Tony's possible route covering a lot of area yesterday and could not turn up any results. Also got GPS data from Tony's insurance company, and that didn't turn back anything either. Some of the friends also searched Southwest Boulevard near the quick trip there in Kansas City, Missouri, thinking that she might have been headed that way from some of their sources. From North Kansas City, Josh Elman, 41 Action News.